anyone know what this is all about? These are sweat bees. They're on the leaf of a corn stalk. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid I may have hit them with uh, some fungicide, but that was uh, just potassium, so I'm not sure if they're just going to sleep here or, or what their habits are. So if anyone knows, let me know. Just sprayed the garden with this stuff. It's my first year using it. Um, I have been using Serenade for several years, and uh, I found that it works until late season, and then all of a sudden the powdery mildew just overwhelms it. So this is basically potassium. And uh, I'm hoping it dries real quick because uh, we got some kind of weather coming in. Maybe not, but uh, since I sprayed, I'm sure it's going to rain so much that we'll need boats to get around. But uh, this is Kakai, and Kakai's doing great. Uh, we have another new pumpkin this week, right there. And I think there's one in the back somewhere, but uh, I'll show you the other ones. Okay. It's always easy to find these when you don't have a camera running. Aha. This one right here which is doing okay. And this one over here is getting pretty darn huge. You know, just my hand. So, uh, doing pretty good. And over here, let's see if I can, it's just hard to step in the garden this time of year. On the fence, we have a yellow squash. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to cook a yellow squash. I have never cooked a yellow squash before. Okay, we got some uh, purple beans out of the, the garden today, just a few. They're not getting enough sun. So uh, next year I'm going to plant the corn, I think east-west. Excuse me, I keep forgetting I have a camera going. East-west along the back of the garden and uh, interspersed with pumpkins and uh, the beans will be in front because they don't seem to want to climb on the corn anyway. Um, if you haven't been with us all along, this is the uh, Three Sisters Garden. Uh, it has pumpkins, well, squash, and corn, and beans all growing together. They're supposed to be complementary. So uh, the only thing I'm finding is uh, what one blogger had written about, a lot of competition for sunlight. So uh, next year I'll have to handle things a little bit differently. We, are, we have some ears of corn starting, which means I'm going to have to start spraying because we will have earwigs. We already do have earwigs. I can see one there. And uh, Racer's doing quite well. Got a pumpkin right there. And another pumpkin right there. another pumpkin right there. So, uh, doing well. Very aggressive vines all over the place, but that's okay. And there's our wildflower garden. And I noticed that's attracting honeybees, so that's, that's kind of nice. And over here we have Aspen. And Aspen is fiddling its thumbs and sending out male flowers and getting powdery mildew, which is why I sprayed today. And not doing much else, so I'm not real pleased. So, I'm just mystified about those bees over there. What they are doing, I don't know. Isn't that funny? Look at that, there's even more of them now. Wow. Okay. And here's my mom. Jim asked me if it's saving some dill. 
Oh, sure, you can have it all. Yeah, I, I've got that uh, uh, pickling spice. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's going to use it for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pickling salt we got, yeah. Because we're not going to have any pickle sized cucumbers this year. Okay. So uh, I'll have to That's buy good. some. These are all big. Yeah. So. Okie doke. Okay. okay. You're going to be famous on YouTube now. Okay? Mom? Mom? You're going to be famous on YouTube. Huh? You're, <laughs> you're going to be famous on YouTube. What? You're going to be famous on YouTube. Why? Because you're on the... the oh. <laughs> Here we got another tomato that's ripening. And there. So finally they're starting to ripen. We were getting a little afraid. So weeks went by and they weren't doing anything. Here's another one. So I have some tomatoes to eat. And I'm going to be planting some Canterbury bells uh, in September probably. Because uh, we didn't get any blooms this year, and I, I guess I pulled out too much when I went wild in the spring. Let's see what else we got. Here's our uh, elfin thyme, and this poor rose bush is going to be pulled out. It uh, is finally just too sick, we can't do anything with it anymore, so. They hit that point. It's been there for about 20 years, so it's about time. I don't know if I'm going to replace it with another rose or a peony, but I'll think about it. Looks like the garden's drying up fairly well. We have a problem with these morning glory vines every year. These are wild in this area. And they take over everything if you don't keep pulling on them. our garden for this week. Doesn't look like uh, mortgage lifter is going to give us more than one tomato, but that's okay. It had a shock when we transplanted it, so. Look how tall the corn got. Yow. <laughs> and the sunflower. And it's going to bloom pretty soon. That thing is maybe, uh, I'd say about 11 feet tall. <laughs> Of course, they always bloom facing northeast, and we can't see them here. But I'll try to get a picture of it when it does open. So anyway, yeah, it's just going to open very shortly. Let's see if we can close on it a little bit. So anyway, that's it for this week, and I'll see you next week.